and that they just can't stand us and whatever else. It's I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, I've never I don't know. They seem they seemed okay with me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, how can this message can be spread and can be sent in better in a better way in the especially in the Western countries? Do you see any special or better way to uh, you know to spread and publish this letter? Well, I think that media work is very, very, very important. Anything that to help spread information is very important. And because of technology, information is now much more readily available than it used to be. And I think that, that, that you know, if Iranian leaders want to fight the empire, uh, if they want to fight the Zionists, one thing that's very, very important is that they continue to do things like press TV. If they continue to, to spread the message, and this message not only focus on the Middle East, but focus on standing with the oppressed. One of the most beautiful principles of the Islamic Republic that, I, that I've noticed every time I've been there is this, this understanding that wherever oppression goes on, uh, it's the duty of, of Muslims to stand against it. When, you know, when the Supreme Leader made a statement supporting the people of the United States, uh, the African Americans against police brutality, that was a beautiful thing. Uh, there have been so many, so many moments where you can see the Islamic Republic of Iran standing with people on the other side of the world, people who are not Muslims, people of a different faith perhaps, just standing against oppression. And as you continue to stand against oppression, you build solidarity. Building solidarity and spreading the message and, and standing with those who are in need, uh, this is the hope for building kind of a global alliance against the forces of evil which have so much power. Uh, Zainab, is there anything you would like to add to the conversation as the final words? First, thanks for inviting me. And uh, second, I, uh, I hope the future will be more safe and more uh, bright than now. And I, I hope we will have a good future in uh, in our in my country Iraq and all uh, on the old world. Thanks for it. We hope so too, and thank you for being here with us, Lena. It was a pleasure. Michael, please, anything to add? Uh, yes, um, I very much underline uh, the letter in many. Uh, in many aspects, some of them already mentioned, mm -hmm. but I also would like to add that this kind of cultural um, aggression, which is directed against uh, m the youth um, in many countries, it has two faces. It has not only the face of um, of takfiri thinking, the the way the face of violent aggressive policies, but it has also the face of undermining so societies by very so-called soft, mm -hmm. um, a soft way of opening the door for destruction. And I think, uh, fortunately, uh, the relevant forces uh, for safeguarding the security of your beloved homeland um, are very aware of the fact that uh, the enemy try both ways in your country. Um, they try to, to build up takfiri networks, mm -hmm. which I know, from abroad, yes. but they all also try to uh, the, increase the invasion of pro-Western soft way thinking of destructing and destroying the society from within, you know, to destroy it. Mm -hmm. And this would, in the next step, create chaos and, and uh, violence, as we have in many countries, as we have in Europe. So this is the key thing. If you destroy society, if you turn it apart, if you, if you open the doors, for, then you open the door for destruction. And therefore, the letter is especially good for uh, for the awareness against these kind of tendencies. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. So, inshallah, it will be, it will be uh, distributed much more. And I think maybe you have a way to 
pressurize uh, your embassies to be a little bit more active. We will try our best as the Iranian activists. And thank you so much for the Inshallah. suggestions. No problem. It was a big pleasure to have you too, Michael. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran, Habibi. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.